Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about some Wet n Wild products and you made the decision as to what this video was going to be because if you follow me on social media then you know I posted a poll asking you what video you wanted to see today. Over the course of the weekend I posted several pictures on my Instagram and Twitter showing you all the products that I bought recently. I bought some things from Elf, Morphe, and Wet n Wild, and Wet n Wild got the most votes in the poll that I posted, so that is the video you're going to see today. And if you voted for Elf or Morphe, don't worry, I'm still going to do those videos too, but I, um, I just think it's fun to see what you guys are interested in, so let's hop right on into it. So I bought two products from Wet n Wild recently. The first one I'm going to show you I bought at Target. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Water Drop Primer. And this is the coconut one. I believe they also have a cucumber one. This um, is also available at other stores that sell Wet n Wild. I've seen it pretty much everywhere. I just bought it at Target because usually their prices are a little bit lower than some other stores but um, that just happens to be where I picked it up but let's first mention that there is 0.68 fluid ounces or 20 mils in here that's not a lot of product but then again five dollars isn't a lot of money for a face primer but yeah that's not much in here and you can feel like when you hold it you can feel how light this is and when you're squeezing it out you can kind of tell this isn't going to last very long. So uh, Wet n Wild, I need you to make this in a larger size because I really like this. First of all, let's talk about the smell. It smells like toasted coconut. It's not like the typical coconut smell that you would smell in products that are scented like coconut. Uh, it smells fantastic. So this is a real pleasure to spread this on my face as my first step in my makeup routine. This is bad because I have lots of other primers already that I should be using up so not really sure how this is gonna fit in or work but we'll see. But yeah I love the smell of this. Now the two things that it says it's supposed to do is it's supposed to be hydrating which is great because it's winter and my skin is dry as dry can be and also this is supposed to be pore blurring and I am happy to say that for only five bucks it does both it is hydrating and it is pore blurring I can see a visible difference in the size of my pores after I apply this so big thumbs up on this wet n wild photo focus water drop primer in coconut definitely would repurchase that again Okay, and before I move on to the next product that I bought at a different store, I do want to just mention some of the other products that I have on my face today because they are Wet n Wild. Um, I used my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation in my, the shade is Rose Ivory. Um, this is a little light for me, so I wanted to start using this again because Winter's almost over, and we've actually had some pretty nice days lately. Um, if you follow me on social media, you may have seen me posting pictures of going hiking. And um, whenever I have, like, if whenever I'm at, like, a high elevation, I like to try to do, like, a selfie when I'm out hiking so that you can kind of see what I'm seeing when I'm on the trails and stuff. But anyways, yeah, we've been getting some nice days here and there, even though it's February, and this is usually the snowiest month of the year, but not this year. Knock, knock. <laughs> um, so I know that I'm going to be probably going outside more as the weather warms up. So I wanted to use this while I still can because this shade is very light on me. And I feel like in the dewy formula, it's even lighter than it is in the matte version that they also have. 
Um, so when they revamped this product line and made a dewy version of the Photofocus Foundation, they changed the colors because this never used to be this light on me. I have the other one and um, it's definitely not this light. So that's why I'm been using this lately because you know I want to get some use out of it because I know I won't be able to use it if I get any darker than I am now. Also I have this on and this is such an old school product but I feel like it's such a good product especially for the price. I have on the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. Probably not saying that right but that's the best I can do sorry. Um, this, I don't use the highlighter in this because it's like just like a banana powder, but the highlight in here, not highlight, contour, ugh, the contour in here is uh, really subtle and blends really well and is great for somebody with a lighter skin tone. I'm sure you could build it up if you were darker, but I just feel like this powder blends so easily and you can't beat this price, but this product is not as easy to find anymore as it once was, but I do have that on as my contour today. And then as my blush and highlight, I have on two of the new Wet n Wild Hello Halo blush lighters. I have on Highlight Bling and After Sex Glow. And what I did was the two peachy versions I mix them together with my brush and just use that like as a blush and highlighter because these are called blush lighters so you can use them that way and I think they look really pretty but um, if you haven't tried these or picked these up yet I really do like those and I'm glad that I got both of those and then to prime my eyes today I did use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer because if I have a brand's eyeshadow primer in my collection, I like to use it with their eyeshadows because I feel like some eyeshadow primers don't necessarily work with every eyeshadow formula. So especially where I was testing this out for the very first time, I wanted to use their eyeshadow primer since I had it. I mean, if I didn't happen to have it, I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy a cert, I mean some brands don't even have eyeshadow primers but you know what I'm saying since I had it I wanted to use it alright so let's move on to the thing that you're probably the most curious about so this is the new Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild eyeshadow pilot palette wow I'm having trouble talking today um, look at that packaging isn't that pretty so it was fifteen dollars for this palette I found the collection on an end cap at Ulta. Um, a lot of the products were already sold out so um, but that's okay because really this was the only thing that I wanted from the collection. They had lip glosses and I thought about getting a lip gloss but I'm not really a lip gloss person. <laughs> I say that and I'm wearing a lip gloss. Um, I don't know, let me rephrase that. I'm really, really fussy about lip glosses. And there's a certain type of formula that I like, and there's a certain type that I don't like. And I could kind of tell by looking at these that this was a formula that I might not be that crazy about. So I just passed on that. And the highlighters were sold out, although the it's um it's like a duo thing. Uh, in the package and the darker one I didn't really think it would work with my skin tone so I don't like to buy something with multiple colors and then I can't use all the colors that are in the palette uh, but it was sold out anyway and then um, there's a mascara too but I don't think it's in stores I think that's just on the Wet n Wild website but that does look really interesting and um, if I if I make a, a Wet n Wild order on their website in the near future, I think I would add that to my cart because that looks intriguing. Um, what else was there? 
There are brushes, but again, I don't think that's at Ulta. I think that's just online. And Wet n Wild brushes, I've had good luck with them. I like Wet n Wild brushes, so I would be interested in those too if I was going to place an online order. But anyway, um, so in case you're wondering, when I buy a brand new palette, the way that I decide what I'm going to do for my eye look is I swatch the entire palette and whatever shadow jumps out at me the most that I, I'm i like ooing and eye and going, oh, that's so pretty. I want to use that. I will build a look around the shadow that looks the prettiest to me. So that's what I did with that um, Revolution Beauty Birds of Paradise palette. That's how I decided to do that look that I did in that video last week. And that's what I decided to do today. I swatched all of these and there's a shade called Liar and a Cheetah. This one right here. This is a gorgeous copper. That is what is on my lids right now. So that's what I decided to do for a look. And then I looked at the palette and said, okay, what would look best with that in the crease? And I used this brown right here, which is called Ape. Uh, I don't want to get any kind of uh, a flag from YouTube for swearing, because yes, they do do that. So it's um, Ape, S-H-I-T. <laughs> Um, that brown is what I used in the crease and outer corner of my eyes. And I used Coconut Connoisseur is my brow bone highlight, which is just like a, a beige. It's just like a, um, it's just a matte beige. And I also dragged that copper color along the lower lash line. Now, what I wanted to do today was, since I have three shades on my eyes, I kind of wanted you to see this look just the way I did it, because I feel like this is a very everyday, wearable, in any situation really, type of look. But then I wanted to take one of these golds. There are three golds in this palette. There's this one, this one, and this one. I wanted to take one of those golds and just use my finger and then just pop some on like the center of my eyelids on camera so that you could kind of see what it would look like if I sort of spruce it up a little bit with some gold. But I wanted you to see this everyday wearable type look before I did that. So of the three, Prowl is like um, a medium type of gold. Like this is a very subtle gold that doesn't have a lot of shimmer in it. And this is a very, very yellow gold. So this is kind of like somewhere in between. So I'm just gonna take my ring finger and swirl it in there. So that's what that looks like. And then I'm just gonna pop that on with my finger. So that just gives it a little more sparkle, a little more dimension, a little more interesting. And it definitely is picking up the light and reflecting. And then if we wanted to do something um, a little bit brighter maybe in the inner corners. We could take that yellowy gold, King of the Jungle. Now I'm gonna use my pinky to do this. So that's definitely more of a yellow. And then I'm just gonna press my pinky like that. And see, now I've just got that little subtle highlight. I've got more on this side, so let's just pick up a little bit more. There we go. 
Okay, so there's a couple of the golds then. Now what I could also do is I've got that cream, that matte cream. So what if we took this other gold, just so you can see as many things as possible in action. It's called Don't Be Lying. And let's see. Let me just wipe off my hand here. All right, let's go back to my ring finger and go into Don't Be Lying. And let's put that along the brow bone. Because I feel like this is a good gold for that purpose. Three golds in one palette. Okay, so that's kind of a subtle... It's a good goal for a brow bone highlight, though. It really is, because it's not going to overpower anything else. Okay, so I've got six of these shadows on, then. This, 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 this. Oh, I skipped that. So this, this, this. The whole top row? I used, I used the whole top row and the brown. Now, let's look at these shadows here. And at first glance, it just kind of looks like a lot of bright colors with some neutrals thrown in. But if you really look at this palette, these shades all along the top row are all warm shades. And of course, the brown is too. So are these reds. So you've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight warm shades in here. Then you've got the black, which is a neutral. And then these six shades right here are all cool. You've got like an aqua, sort of a deeper aqua, and a teal. You've got a fuchsia, a deep purple. You've got a sparkling... Aqua teal, sort of a sort of a deep aqua almost teal, kind of a cross between those two shades there. And then you've got this bright like cobalt blue. When I was first looking at this um, copper shade, at first I thought, well, that's pretty pinky, so I wonder if I could use the pink with it. No, the pink is like a cool fuchsia, so you wouldn't be able to pair those two together. And it, it definitely needs a warm shade. So let me do some swatches for you so you can see what these look like swatched. And just so you know, when I do swatches, I don't use a primer on my arm um, because I just want you to see what they look like without primer. And then I just do one swipe. I don't like keep going over it to make it um, look better. I want you to see what this actually would look like with one swatch. So let me put some swatches on for you. All right, so I know you probably can't see it, but that is the first shade in the palette. That's Coconut Connoisseur, and that is a matte beige. And then this is the second shade right here. That's Prowl. That is the gold that I used on my lids that I applied on camera. This is Liar and a Cheetah. This is the copper that I have on my lids and the camera is not doing it justice because in person it is so pretty. And then the next one is not even showing up on my skin. It's Don't Be Lying and that's that subtle gold that I used on my brow bone. Okay, so the next four, the gold on top is King of the Jungle. That's the one that I used as an inner corner highlight on camera. The next one is called Anaconda. This is not pigmented at all. That is like a, a deeper aqua, so that didn't really show up. You'd have to definitely build that one up. The next one is that teal, and it's called Venomous, and that is really pigmented. 
and then this fuchsia is called flamingo and that's that's pretty pigmented so those would be the next four all right and the next four are this red which is called pounce on them and that's got like a hint of orange to it yeah it's like an orangey red and then the next one is ape sh which is that brown that I put in the crease and the outer portion of my eyes uh, I really like that brown it it blended beautifully I just started off like really slowly and just built it up but uh, that worked really well I really like that brown and then the next one is called deeper and that's that blue right there and then that right there is Big Peacock Energy. <laughs> Some of these names, I don't know. And if I push on my arm, you can see, hopefully, the sparkles in that, because that's the one that was super glittery. Okay, and the last three shades are Feline, Feline Myself. That's a very pigmented purple pretty that swatch is really impressive and then this is two can play that game and this is a more true red as opposed to that orangey red that is right above it in the palette and then this is a black called alpha and it does have sparkles in it but once you blend it out the spot sparkles just kind of fall away um, so you could use that um, in a number of different ways depending on how much you added and how you applied it. You could either keep the sparkles or blend them out and get rid of them if you didn't want them in there. So those are the last three shades. Okay, so something else that I wanted you to be aware of with this is this palette comes in this sleeve. And keep the sleeve because if you get rid of it, you're not going to have... Um, any information because this is the back of the palette and inside the palette you'll have the name of the palette and the shade names but the other information that you might be interested in is on the sleeve so keep the sleeve on the back of the sleeve it shows you all the shades and everything but it also is going to give you your ingredient list and um, that is something that a lot of people want to know about and I just read all the information written in the ingredient section and nowhere anywhere on here does it say anything about these being pressed pigments or not being eye safe and that's kind of important nowadays because it seems like most of the palettes that you buy now are a combination of a regular shadow formula and a pressed pigment but I was kinda surprised when I read through this because just to look at this normally when they make these super dark colors like this or a red or something that has tons of glitter in it usually it is labeled as not being eye safe but there's nothing on here that would indicate that these are pressed pigments or that they're using glitter that is not eye safe so that's good so that is it you guys um, would I recommend this palette I've only used it once so this is sort of a first impressions video I kinda wanted to just show you the palette and talk a little bit about it because um, this is limited edition, so I don't know how long it will be around or how difficult it would be for you to get it. So I just wanted to give you all the information that I had at this time. And um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you if you feel bad because you didn't vote for Wet n Wild in the poll, don't worry about it because the next videos that I do will be the other two choices that were there. So thanks for watching and subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.